Elizabeth and I are color coordinated today. <laughs> um, how many of you have heard of Theranos? Raise your hand. Okay, quite a bit. Well, until we put Elizabeth on our cover just a few months back, I hadn't heard of you, I hadn't heard of the company, and yet you're in my backyard in Palo Alto. Um, company is valued at over $9 billion. You've got over 500 employees, I think. Um, 700. 700 now, okay, growing fast. Yeah. Um, and you have huge, broad ambitions. Can you tell us who you are and what you do, what your company does? Sure. Yeah. Over the last 11 years, we've reinvented the traditional laboratory infrastructure with a mission to make early diagnosis and early detection a reality in the context of our healthcare system and healthcare systems throughout the world. And as we thought about this, we focused very much on the question of access to actionable health information because laboratory data drives 80% of clinical decisions, yet it's not accessible to every person and it's not accessible at the time it matters. Mm -hmm. So we delve into why. Um, in our country, 40 to 60% of people are not compliant with a requisition to go get a lab test done when given to them by a physician. And part of that is because of fear of needles. People mm -hmm. don't like big needles being stuck into their arm. Uh, part of it- You're one of those people, right? Uh, deeply so, <laughs> yes. Uh, I, uh, I won't do it. Um, Part of it is because of cost. Uh, even if people are insured, they can't afford the ability to get a test. Uh, part of it is because of convenience, the need to have to leave work mm -hmm. uh, in order to be able to go get a test done. And part of it is the speed or turnaround time of the data in the context of actually having access to that information at the time you're interacting with a physician in every time, as mm -hmm. opposed to having to go get a test done, come back, see your doctor, go get another test done if something's out of range. Um, so, so the first thing we did was to uh, make it possible for every laboratory test to be run on a tiny droplet of blood. Mm -hmm. So go through the whole list of all the tests that are run in a traditional lab and instead of requiring tubes coming from your arm, mm -hmm. make it possible to do the tests on tiny droplet of blood that could be taken from a finger. Mm -hmm. And How much blood are we talking about? Uh, a few drops. Uh -huh. uh, it's a little tube. It looks about that big. Which you and, call a nanotainer, uh, right? call it a nanotainer. Very cute. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, very into miniature things. <laughs> uh, but uh, it... it uh, it eliminates the need uh, mm -hmm. for people to have needles stuck in their arm. And for cancer patients and elderly persons and little children, uh, this means a lot. Mm -hmm. um, we then said, let's take these tests and make them accessible at prices that every person could afford. Mm -hmm. So we started, uh, when we announced this commercial laboratory service uh, last winter, at 50% off of Medicare reimbursement rates in terms of the way in which we're billing for these tests. And we've since begun dropping that pricing to more than 90% off of Medicare reimbursement rates in key cases to make these tests accessible, irrespective of what someone's deductibles are. And so what that means is, for example, something like a complete cell blood count is accessible for $4. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that means people can begin to engage in the testing process. And we've now begun rolling this out. Um, we're in over 40 locations in Arizona. We build out what we call wellness centers, which are physical spaces people can come to that have a totally different type of experience that, that really engages people mm -hmm. in the testing process. Um, and we've, we've publicly announced that we are uh, going to deploy nationally uh, with Walgreens, with Walgreens. Uh, building these wellness centers inside uh, all the Walgreens. So in how many locations is that? 
Walgreens has uh, 8,100. Um, across the country. Across the country, which, which is really important because it means you're in five miles of every person's home and going back every to the person, access every home. person, living every in Americans. The US. Well, on average, there's, uh -huh. you know, uh, but uh, but on average, and, and in metropolitan service areas, uh, one mile of mm -hmm. every person's home on average, and so um, so that that really begins to change the access question in in a fundamental. How way. quickly can you get to that scale? What's your plan? Well, right now um, we're focused on. Um, our work in Arizona and beginning our work in California. Um, the most important thing for us is ensuring store by store and person by person that the service we provide is excellent. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're pacing our growth around it. However, um, going into 2015, uh, we have plans to um, follow Greg Lawson, the Walgreens CEO calls it crawl, walk, run, and we're, <laughs> we're leaving the crawling phase now. Uh, and so, uh, so the expansion is going to pick up. So I actually last week went into the Walgreens in Palo Alto and had my, my little finger prick uh, blood test done. And um, I'm not going to share all the results with you, but I got it within. <laughs> my cholesterol levels are good, apparently. Um, but I uh, got the results uh, in less than 24 hours. There is an app, a Theranos app, that you can get on your phone, which pulls up all the results. I got an email from the doctor also. Um, the experience kind of end to end and the technology end to end is really different from walking into the center. There's like calming music and, you know, like a water fountain or something um, to the, the mobile app and the cost and the access. Um, can you talk about what, what, what the innovations are with Theranos? Because there's the technology itself. How, how can you do, you know, run all of these tests with such a small amount of blood? And why hasn't anybody done this before? Um, to the fact that you publish your costs, True. the fees for all of these tests online, which is not the way healthcare is done, by the way. Um, <laughs> just talk about all the innovations along the, the way. Sure. So our, our, our belief fundamentally is that the answer to our challenges in healthcare lies in engaging and empowering the individual. And if we can connect with people so that they begin to understand that they have this basic human right to get access to information about their body that can change their life, we can begin to engage people in the process of finding some of this information out in time to do something about it. So we have exactly designed an end-to-end -end solution which is geared toward being able to get people engaged uh, because engagement is the first step to knowledge, which mm -hmm. then often can facilitate behavior change. Uh, we, you know, I, I talk a lot about type 2 diabetes, which in our country we have 80 million pre-diabetics, 90% of whom uh, don't know that they're pre-diabetic. And all you need is a glucose test to begin to get them engaged. And, and type 2 diabetes can be reversible with behavior modification uh, and changes in lifestyle and diet and exercise. How much does a glucose test cost with Theranos? Uh, it's, it's probably um, less than a dollar would be my yeah. guess. Um, okay. so, so the system was build these locations that people want to go to and are really nice. and. Um, engage them in the testing process. We've exactly got spa music and waterfalls mm -hmm. and you know, virtual fish tanks and a lot of bamboo. And, um, and people describe the, uh, the experience as fun, right? Uh -huh. Which are not words that you traditionally hear associated with lab testing. You know, mm -hmm. People are not normally walking out being like, that was awesome, you know? Yeah. Um, so, but, but that has to happen because if we can turn it into something that that's cool and that people like doing, then they'll begin to connect with it. So, so we started with those physical spaces. Um, we then tried to design the process in such a way in which um, it's as painless as possible and it's fast. So you get in and out 
quickly. Um, it's accessible late at night. It's accessible on the weekends. Mm -hmm. um, and it is highly automated um, to ensure the integrity of the process and the integrity of the data so that that data can be used in ways that are most meaningful in the context of the early detection mission, uh, but also because it makes the experience in and of itself more accessible through our app, which we've just launched. The intent was help people begin to connect with this information. We know more about our credit cards than we do about our body, and normally people see these lab reports and they look a little scary and they don't completely understand them, so they don't, they don't connect with it. Mm -hmm. but it's highly useful information that people should begin to understand because it'll change their life. And, and you talked a lot about the experience. Help us understand, give us your trade secrets. Um, help us understand how you are able to actually make this happen. Sure. Uh, well, part of the reason it took us so long is that we, we went through the process of... Really and by the way, I should mention that Elizabeth started this company when she was 19, so... Yeah. <laughs> I noticed you didn't actually answer the question about who you are, but we'll get to that. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it, we, we went through redeveloping every test um, that is run in a traditional laboratory mm -hmm. to be able to operate on these tiny volumes of blood or, or other fluids. We do urine testing, feces testing, swabs, um, and all sorts of other fluids. Um, and, and went test by test mm -hmm. to, to be able to do that. And then we had to redevelop the analytical systems to run those tests because traditionally uh, very large tubes of blood are required uh, in order to run these tests in traditional labs and different tubes of blood are mm -hmm. required. You need the green top and the purple top and the <laughs> rainbow top and, and all these other tops. Um, and, and then we, we invested very heavily in software in the context of automating the traditional analytical process, and importantly, what's called the pre-analytical and post-analytical processes, wherein humans are traditionally involved in doing things like manually handling samples, uh, centrifuging them, leaving them on counters, um, and that's where 93% of the error and variability is introduced. So. Mm -hmm. We, we work to design a process that is highly automated to help to minimize that variability and, and error. And it's in then integrating that with the end-to-end -end solution. And, and you referenced sort of the elements of the Wellness Center. We've built, for example, software on the front end that allows us to do the first real-time electronic eligibility for lab testing. So when someone walks in, we can tell them right there before they choose to buy this service, how much is it going to cost them? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this, you know, historically has been a service that you go do a test, but you don't know whether you're going to get a bill in the mail for three hundred dollars three months right. later, and and that matters a lot to a lot of people. So, so we've we've built additional services around this to begin to engage people and create that transparency as a as a vehicle for for access um, to testing. Okay. Um, I want to open up to questions in just a, a, a minute or two, but before I do that, um, you have had just a really interesting trajectory with this company. Um, you were very secretive for a long time, but um, one of the things that you've done is put together this amazing board, and I just want to highlight some of the folks that you have on the board, Game of Calm folks. Um, <laughs> so it includes three former U.S. cabinet secretaries, two former U.S. senators, a retired Navy admiral, and a retired Marine Corps general, um, including George Schultz, Henry Kissinger. Uh, how did you make that happen? <laughs> you know, um, we, I, I started this company because I believe that um, that nothing matters more than what people go through today when um, when you lose someone you love because you found out too late in the process to do something about it. And this board is involved in this company because we have an opportunity to do good in the world and we have an opportunity by building a business as a vehicle for making a change in the world 
to help to shape our healthcare system and to shape it in such a way in which we empower individuals to get access to information that, that fundamentally means you don't have to say goodbye too soon. Mm -hmm. right? And um, so <laughs> it's, um, so that, that's, that's why, they're, why they're part of this. And, and it's been an incredible privilege for me to, to be able to learn um, and be surrounded by that kind of wisdom because we, we know and one of the things that's so amazing about this country is that you can, um, you can build companies and leverage creativity and innovation to make a change. And, and that can be done in our healthcare system. And it can be done by outside the system in terms of engaging the individual and the consumer to facilitate that mm -hmm. change. And, mm -hmm. and that's, what, that's what that group and, and what we're working to do is about. So I, I gotta ask you though, um, because looking over the list, um, and these are just very fine men, you know, but uh, you don't have any women. <laughs> yeah. When are you going to have a woman on your board? And you have a lot of women in the company, I should say, but none on the board. Well, I, I, I hope I it's qualify. It's you and a bunch of old guys, one. basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, um, this is an area that's so important, and and we've we've started, we we have, we're told uh, one of the largest percentages in terms of workforce of female engineers and scientists mm -hmm. uh, in the Bay Area, and and they're all there because they're the best at mm -hmm. what they do. And I have the privilege of spending a lot of time with them talking about the fact that we have an opportunity to show to their little girls that Absolutely, you can go into engineering, you can go into science, and you can be successful, and you can build a family, and we should be doing this. Um, so having women involved with this company and building this company and leading this company because of who they are, especially in the engineering and science space. I mean, I was the only woman uh -huh. in chemical engineering at Stanford and in the electrical engineering program that I was at at Stanford, and that must change. Mm -hmm. um, so. Well, if you are looking for a female board member, I hear Melinda Gates is in the audience. <laughs> do, we, uh, do we have a, a question? I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> um, one over here. Hi there, my name is Andrea Sturmer from Zurich Insurance. Um, I really admire what you do. It is a phenomenal uh, achievement where you are today and with the innovation you've brought. You're talking about um, bringing that to consumers and uh, people here in this country, mm -hmm. but obviously we heard from Melinda Gates just before uh, you came in, mm -hmm. and the connection is so obvious. So there is such potential in what you do, and how do you think about that outside of this country? Uh, it, it is at the heart of why we're doing everything that we do every single day. Yeah, um, what's amazing about the opportunity to apply this internationally is that in many countries, we, we use the analogy to the lack of landline infrastructure in China and the existence of cell phones sort of leapfrogging over it. The creation of a decentralized testing infrastructure because laboratory data drives 80% of clinical decisions can be a tool for facilitating a decentralized care delivery infrastructure. And you know, we, as a company, do all of our manufacturing here in the United States, we know we can compete on cost internationally and we can apply that toward being able to make this type of testing accessible for you know, the types of prices that matter in those environments. I mean, uh, you know, often you think about something like tuberculosis, a $10 test is too expensive. Uh, so, being able to operate in that realm in those countries is um, is at the core of what we're doing, and um, and we're starting to get involved in that. Thank you. Um, unfortunately, we are out of time. I'm sure there are more questions for Elizabeth. I encourage you to talk to her afterwards. Um, but thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate you. Being here. <laughs> are you stepping down this way? I'm going over here. All right. Um,